Hello people! So I'm doing my December wrap-up today. I promise that there are gonna be other videos apart from wrap-ups soon. Really soon. Like honestly, I'm working on it. I'm just now getting back into filming and editing videos and YouTube in general. My to-watch list is at about 400 videos currently, so that's also a lot of videos that I still have to watch. Apart from that, my room is finally done. There's still one large centerpiece missing on my wall that I still need to paint and then put up. I am going to do a room tour on my main channel very soon without that centerpiece because it's probably gonna take till May until that is ready and I don't want to keep you waiting until then. If if you're interested, I can also do a bookshelf tour, although a bookshelf tour is very interesting concept because I have six bookshelves, I think, and I also have more than 900 books, so it's gonna be a very long video and it's gonna take a long while. I also changed my filming background, I'm currently filming on the floor, I'm sitting down and uh, it's painful. My legs are falling asleep. Do you like this? Shall I keep it like this? Tell me down below if you like it, because then I'm gonna keep it like this. So before the blood circulation in my feet stops entirely, let's start this wrap up. I've been rambling way too long. I'd say this month was an awesome month because I read Sense and Sensibility and Persuasion. I love both of these books. Both are romantic comedies, I'd say. They're funny in parts, they're dramatic in parts, but first and foremost, they're romantic. Sense and Sensibility is about Eleanor and Marianne, who are sisters. And and it's basically about their way in life and it's about their family and everything that's going on and obviously they find love. And in Persuasion we have Anne Elliot who was once upon a time engaged to Mr. Wentworth but her friend Lady Russell and also her father and her older sisters said that she shouldn't marry down so she wasn't allowed to keep that engagement and marry him so they broke it off but now he's back in her life and that brings a lot of tension into her world. It's really lovely. I love Austen's writing style. The stories kind of had the same feel as Pride and Prejudice had, but still the stories themselves are very good on their own. They're different from each other. The characters are so different and they're so well written. Every character in here is described with so much love to detail and so much sarcasm. It's just hilarious to read her character descriptions. Because I had so much fun listening to the LibriVox audiobooks for since and sensibility and persuasion. I also looked for the LibriVox recording of War of the Worlds and I found it. And not only is this book gorgeous, the recording was also great. Even though War of the Worlds is old, H.G. Wells' writing is just genius. I loved his writing style. It was clear and it was not old. You know, it didn't feel like an old book. It felt very modern and very easy to read. And the story is basically that Earth gets evaded from Mars. We hear the story from one man's perspective and it's really realistic because on the one hand he's right in the middle of things but then on the other hand he also says things like I don't know what happened there because I wasn't there but my brother was also at another place and this happened where my brother was and he later told me that. I really love that H.G. Wells did that and used this limited perspective and focused on the fact that this perspective is limited and you still had the feeling that it was a full story even though that person was not in every place at all times. I'm down here now! My feet hurt. It's very painful. Let me adjust this for a second. There we go. Now I'm on the floor. I had to change positions because oh my god my feet hurt so much. The next book I read in December is a book that I have been curious about for a very long time and it's matched by Ali Comney. I read this and I mean I didn't hate it. Like I don't think I would burn it. That's the only positive thing I can say about this book. Seriously. For the first time in my life I'm probably not gonna continue a series because I did not like the first book. I read reviews for the second book after I finished this and all of the reviews were like, well this is the middle book and nothing happens and no one told Ellie Conley that you have to write about something in the middle book and even Christine from Poland Bananas book said that you didn't have to read the second part. Just read a summary and then go on to the third. I'm not sure I'm gonna read the third. I don't currently own the third. I'm not gonna spend money on the third. If I can borrow it somewhere I'm gonna read it, yes. But that's a about everything I'm gonna do for this series. I'm sorry. 99% of the books that I hold up, I'm like, I love this book. I absolutely adored this book. But with this book, I just didn't. With this book, I was not able to find a single thing that I actually loved about it. The entire setting is copy and paste from the giver and I don't feel like the author even tried to hide that she completely took that whole concept from the giver. Second thing I didn't like, was the main character. I 
did not like her. It's not like the ear where you don't like the, the main character because the main character is written to be hated. I just did not like her character at all. I even forgot what she was called. Cassia. I did not like Cassia at all. The third thing that annoyed me was that you get the setup where she is with her best friend and they go to their matching ceremony and then they get matched and you're like yeah that's very fitting that's very nice and then she falls in love with another guy and I was like but I like Sander I like your best why don't you stay with your best friend I like him more than the new guy what are you doing also she starts a rebellion and she has no reason whatsoever to start a rebellion she just starts it for the heck of it she's always content she's always happy she was always fine with how the society worked she gets matched with her best friend and she's like yeah this is perfect i love this and then she's like oh there's this other guy oh my god i think i'm in love i now have to destroy this entire functioning society just because I want that other guy. The fact that she started a rebellion without actually having a cause just kind of pissed me off a lot. That was a rant. I really didn't like that book. So that book basically put me in a reading slump and then I had to get to this one which is fire and it's 600 pages long. I had to read this in December. I couldn't put it off till January because this is the seventh book in the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage, which was my series reread for the year. And I wanted to finish that series reread this year. No, last year. <laughs> and so I had to read it in December, which I did. I got through it, but it took a while and it was exhausting. Again, I had this feeling that the beginning was really slow and unnecessary and could have been shortened. I think this is a good series. I think the beginning of the series is a bit better than the ending. I thought these were a little bit slow in the end and then also a bit too simple in other places. But considering that this is aimed at about 11 year olds and it's way out of my age range, I think that that's okay. And I think that younger people would enjoy this more because I enjoyed it more when I was younger and it's no longer aimed at my age. And the last book I picked up because it's only 160 pages long and that's The Chroniken von Narnia, The König von Narnia or The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I'm sure you've all heard of The Chronicles of Narnia or The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I'm rereading that series now. I'm currently on the second book and I'm rereading them in publishing order not in chronological order. I don't even have anything more to say about this book. I loved it. I love Narnia. I love this world. It's just an all-around great book. Since I already rambled on in the beginning, I don't have to do that now. So that was my wrap-up. Those were the books that I read in December. I'm going to have a overview video of all the books that I read in 2015 up soon-ish and I will see you in that video. Bye bye!